So this is a different video. Day one, redundancy. And well, I thought in today's video, I'll do a bit of reflection and talk about what my plans are for the future going forward. Let me give you a bit of a backstory behind where I am in terms of my career. I'll try not to make it too long-winded and bore you to tears. So I never really knew what I wanted to do in terms of a career when I left school. Pretty much failed most of my GCSEs. Went to retake my GCSEs at college, dropped out of college. Went on to do another college course, dropped out of that. And then I got a job in an office and kind of started earning a bit of money, got a bit of a flavour for that. And back in the sort of mid 90s, there was a really big boom in software development and IT, uh, what with the internet coming up and all that stuff. And I managed to get myself into the software development space through QA and testing. And it paid really well. So over about space of two or three years, I learned my craft, I learned how to do the testing side of things. And I went off to become a contractor. So I was getting quite large daily rates at the time. It's very lucrative. And I had a pretty colorful contracting career actually. It took me just working across Europe on my own. Uh, spent 12 months in Munich, six months in Frankfurt, spent a couple of months in Milan. Came back to the UK, started working in London for a bit, then I went out to Germany again. So I was doing a lot of traveling around. I was a free, single, young man, spending loads of money, enjoying life. And then as time progressed, I was getting a little bit tired of doing that. I met Sarah, settled down back in my hometown, which is where I'm based now. Worn out, just telling you that part. So me and Sarah had the kids, got three kids. I went back contracting for a bit, which was really good because we needed it because the money to bring up kids is not cheap at all. Uh, it got more and more expensive. In fact, it's still expensive now, even though they should be grown up and moved out. But that's a different story, isn't it? And um, yeah, so anyway, I was contracting a little bit more and then I got an assignment working for a small energy firm. Fast forward 15 years, and here I am today, sitting in my greenhouse, having been made redundant from that, what was a very small company into a very large company. All in all, I've had about 25 years of IT experience in software development in the QA and testing space and I've pretty much seen it all. I've gone through everything there is to go through from loads of stuff, migrations, digital transformations, blah, blah, all that sort of stuff. Rapid growth of businesses, acquisitions, up to the point now where, yeah, I've just been made redundant. Redundancy wasn't just me. Uh, there was a lot of people made redundant. So it wasn't a personal thing whatsoever. And yeah, I kind of feel like I've, I've done it all. I've built up teams, I've reduced teams, I've changed direction of what we've been doing. It's been quite a, quite a career, I guess. I'm sort of sitting here now, day one of my redundancy. I haven't got a job and I kind of, I feel, I woke up this morning with a bit of a racing heart. I'm not gonna lie, feeling a bit anxious because I haven't got anything to do. I sort of look back on the time, the 25 years of doing it, with fond memories. Hasn't always been easy, no job's ever easy, is it? But it's kind of, over the years, particularly in the last 10 years, it's very much sort of been a case of, I've always been checking my phone, even when I've been on holidays and I should be spending time with the family, still been replying to emails and stuff like that. That's kind of been the life that I've, I've been living. 
Now none of that's there. I'm feeling tired, I guess. The last 18 months have been a period of uncertainty. We kind of knew this was coming. So it's made it a little bit easier. So the shock factor isn't there. Although, yeah, this morning I kind of woke up feeling a bit anxious. And yeah, a little bit of anger. Lots of mixed emotions going on right now. The next question is, what am I going to do now? And that's the scary part, because I don't actually know. I feel tired and done with the corporate life. That might just be a temporary thing. I definitely need a break, and I've decided I'm going to have a break. And it's all good financially, so I don't need to worry about that aspect of it. So I'm going to take a few months of not doing anything from the IT corporate life, that side of me. I'm not gonna look for jobs. I'm not gonna look at things like LinkedIn or anything like that. I'm just gonna put it away, park it, and just go through a period of self-development, I guess. Self-discovery, actually, I think is the, is the sort of term I'm looking for. I hope, hope I'm not depressing you, I'm just pretty sure, and I'm not really majorly spiritual, although I have been as I'm getting a bit older, is that I, feel, I do feel like things are mapped out for you, and I, and I think that, you know, everything always works out, doesn't it? I woke up this morning thinking about this YouTube channel and thinking, well, Graham, maybe you've just been missing this for a while, maybe things have meant to align like this. You named the channel a while ago, Where Graham Grows. You're now in a period of growth and self-discovery. It's like you knew this was gonna happen. Maybe it's been staring me in the face all along that I should just be me, create content, share what I'm doing, and share about my growth and discovery during this period. The real me, I guess. Stripped back, raw, hiding nothing. Just be me. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put a different dimension on my content creation. You know, I'm gonna hide nothing in terms of being open and honest about what I'm doing. And going forward, this is gonna be not just about everything in the allotment, because I'm gonna, all that stuff is still gonna come on the channel, it's all good. But there's a journey of self-discovery here. Even though I can maybe not see it right now, but I feel like all the planets and the stars and everything have aligned to this point, where I'm just gonna, just gonna do my thing. Being made redundant, sitting here in my greenhouse. I've shared quite a lot on today's video. It does feel like a therapy session. and it, It's made me feel really good, actually. And that's what I'm gonna do. Just be more open and honest and share my journey of self-discovery over however long that takes and whatever this new beginning is. It's just gonna be exciting to see how everything unfolds and I'm gonna share and document as much of that as I can authentically on YouTube. And I don't even know what that is yet. I really have no idea, but I'm gonna share it. And as I'm peeling back the layers over the next week, months, whatever, and I'll be sharing this with you, when I feel it's appropriate, of course, um, it'll be interesting to find what's underneath this Graham, I think. I got the channel name right. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. I know it's been a bit of a different video and you may need to lie down after watching this, but I just wanted to share with you how I'm feeling, what my plans are going forward. I hope you're intrigued. Where Graham grows, eh? Who'd have thought it? See you in the next one.